March can be both a fun month and a cruel month too. Good evening everyone, I'm Sam Ali. Several games going on tonight with a chance for many boys basketball teams to move one step closer to the state title game at the Breslin Center. And sometimes when it's all on the line, it comes down to the final shot as we are about to see in Marquette. It was Iron Mountain versus Boyne City in the Class C Regional Championship. Pick it up in the third quarter, Boyne City forces a turnover. Derek Willis gets the ball to Dalton Gardner. Smooth finger roll gives the Ramblers a one point lead. Next play, Tanner Hootery finds Carson Wonders down low. He puts it up strong, count that baby, and a foul. Lead goes back to the Mountaineers. Later on, closing seconds of the third, Mike Dom from mid range with a hand in his face gets the shot to go. Boyne City up three after three. Fourth quarter now, less than two minutes left. Hootery scores and Boyne City's lead is only five. Next possession, Tanner Hootery with ice in his veins from downtown. He hits it and the deficit is at two. He would tie the game with free throws, but Boyne City would have the ball in the final seconds. Less than 20 seconds to go. Mike Napont drives, finds Derek Willis in the corner. Unbelievable. The Ramblers are up three with three seconds to go. Last chance for Iron Mountain. They're trying to inbound the ball, trying to find somebody. They get it to Cole Rosado. He finds Kyle Johnson wide open for the three. In and out. The Ramblers win the regional title 54 to 51. Here's reaction from the team. Well, we knew we had to try to shut down 20 and 44. They were their best players. Uh, we wanted to try to play, get the tempo more to our style, more up and down. I thought we did a pretty good job with that. Our guys played their tails off. You know, both teams played their butts off. It was a great game. We were running offense. Number one! <laughs> and Zach started, Zach started driving, and I thought it was a little bit too early, but my guy collapsed on him, so then he dished it, and I made the open shot. We were, we were just looking to push the ball because we knew that they didn't play very many players and we knew that they'd get tired, so we, we tried to up the tempo a little bit on them and keep the game going fast. What a tough loss for the Mountaineers, but they will be back next year. Boyne City is moving on. They will face McBain in the Class C state quarterfinals on Tuesday at Gaylord. Let's find out how the other three UP boys basketball teams fared in their games. John and Richard, roll the next highlight. Switching gears to Class D, it was a battle of undefeateds in Nagani as Lake Linden Hubble played North Central. Early on, the Lake said, we can play with these guys. Cody Canari hits from deep to put Lake Linden up one. Check out Brett Poissant, a little half spin. The drive, the hang, the shot, the score. The Lakes trailed 11 to 10 after one. This one was far from over. In the second, the Jets offense takes flight. Caleb Martin with the hoop. He's gonna get the hoop and the harm. He had 19 points to lead North Central. Then the Jets underclassmen took over. Dawson Bilski finds Jason Whitens who floats it and fills it. Whitens had 10 points and the Jets student section was more than fired up. To the third, North Central puts their foot on the gas. Bobby Kleiman drives and scores. The Lakes put up a good fight, but in the end, North Central wins it 69 to 53 to win their third straight regional championship for the first time in school history. We're trying to do what Nagani does every year, uh, you know, with, with winning these. But uh, our kids are working so hard to, to get back here, and, uh, and they lived up to expectations. It's a great group of kids. Uh, our community supported us all year round, and I uh, couldn't be prouder of these kids tonight. But hats off to Lakeland and Hubble. Uh, they came out with a good game plan defensively, and, and we were pretty cold shooting. But uh, we stemmed the tide and got a good push in the end of the first half and uh, did, did just enough on defense to come out with the win. Oh, it's the best feeling in the world being able to win every game, especially with these guys. Been with them growing up since we were little. It's just really fun. You got to love it. The competition is just fantastic, and especially with these guys, winning makes it so much better. So North Central stays undefeated and is one game away from the Breslin Center. The Jets won't have it easy in the quarters on Tuesday when they face a Hillman squad that beat St. Ignace in the regional finals. Game time is set for 7 p.m. Eastern. As of right now, according to MH MHSAA.com, the game will be played either in Marquette or in the Sioux. And to the Sioux, Escanaba had a shot at a regional title, taking on Cadillac. The Kings up by 13 at the half, make it 15 with this putback by Quinn Cargo. No putback on this shot, Vikings Ethan Myers squares up on the three and drills it. 
Eskies, Tyler Skufka closes the gap to 11 with this tray early in the fourth. Next possession though, Cadillac's Andrew Emmington lasers in from behind the arc. Cadillac takes home the regional hardware with the 73-62 victory, ending Escanaba's season. One win short of another trophy. Still, it was a nice late run to the season for the Eskimos. So the Vikings are through to the state quarters. Cadillac has a very tough matchup next week when they face Essexville-Garber. Game time on Tuesday from Mount Pleasant is set for 7 p.m.